Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up virtualization on Linux with KVM. So if you already know virtualization, you probably know VirtualBox and VMware Player or VMware Workstation. So what KVM is, is that is a similar solution built into Linux. And when I say built into it, I mean if you have say a Fedora, this is a Fedora system. If you have a Fedora system or a, probably Debian 2 or, or a CentOS or Red Hat, when you install the system itself it has the option to add virtualization as you install the system now remember you can't do that with uh, VirtualBox or VMware so that's what I mean how it's almost built in kind of and uh, if it's not built in you can just check your check the packages for it uh, I think CentOS it would be yum group ins oh, install you know, install virtualization platform tools, that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, just check out Google for what packages you need to uh, install for your virtualization or what group of packages uh, you need to install. It's not that difficult and it's really just, uh, it's already installed here so I'm not going to do this, but it's just a simple matter of entering this command if you didn't do it as you installed your system. One thing you need to do to check if your uh, processor can handle the virtualization is go to lsmod grep kvm okay and you see I have kvm underscore intel I have an intel uh, core i7 processor and that is the kernel module for the virtualization if you don't have that uh, you know if you have an a AMD processor though then it would be kvm underscore AMD if you didn't have that then check your motherboard settings because you might have to uh, in the BIOS go in there and change it where you allow virtualization now, what you do is there's a couple different ways to do the virtualization. Uh, the terminal way for it is VIRSH, and there's, as you can see, a lot of stuff. Let me just scroll. A whole bunch of stuff. You can use this for scripting. It's really good, but that's a little bit beyond our scope. So just be aware that that's there. We're going to use Vert Manager, and that is the friendly graphical interface for it and what we have here is I didn't now note I didn't make any changes beforehand or anything like that this is just out of the box virtualization so your local host that's the uh, QEMU that's your emulator for all this stuff and uh, connection details what I just want to show you is just a couple things you can do before you start setting up your system uh, it's set to auto connect automatically you can do set up your virtual network so right now it's just set for 192, 168, 122 I can change that and I can make different networks I can you know, do different subnets and all that stuff and have it connect you can configure storage pools and things like that here and that's about it network interfaces not much there don't worry about it you don't have to worry about any of this stuff if you just want to make a quick quickie virtual machine but be aware that those options are there all, and all it is is just a matter of going through and following the prompts so that's just what we're gonna do quick and easy and I'm just gonna use an ISO images an ISO image and you can also go to browse local and go to your local file system I'm just gonna choose that and my operating system is Linux and because CentOS is a clone of Red Hat that's how we're gonna do that now be aware that you can change the CPU and the memory after you install the m virtual machine so if I say two now and I say no I don't need two I have up to eight available because I have a quad core which is uh, two threads on each core so I can go up to eight hey, you know what let's do that what the hell not necessary but we're just gonna try it memory let's say 1024 you can like I said go up and down with this stuff be aware though if you are uh, if you're if you have like say eight CPUs and then you install your virtual machine you get a whole bunch of stuff running on there and you say you know what no I'm going down to one CPU well that might be an issue because you're you know it depends on the stuff that you got going if you if you're really loading that machine that might not be able to handle it same thing with the RAM your system might become unstable so just kinda use common sense when you're doing this stuff I'm not gonna go to eight and let's just go to two uh, eight is not necessary for what we're gonna do but the uh, same thing like I said with the RAM uh, just common sense and the disk we're just going to go down to five and that's it and just change the name 
and take a look here, you have your image is going to go into var lib libvert images and then Red Hat, that was just the name here. QCOW2 is your virtual uh, virtual disk extension there. And that's what that stuff is. So let's just finish and we're just going to start the machine. And that's what's going to start going right now. And we'll get started. And I'll just show you some other things as this goes. I'm not going to walk you through the whole install process. I mean, it's just a question of uh, hitting enter 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 a bunch of times so that's not what I want to show you but let me get let's just get to the first thing okay now I want to I'm just gonna wait for this screen to change size because it's going to happen or resize to VM okay you can do that let's bring it back up all right so I'm gonna start installing it now but now, oh, where we're at. Okay, so you can see right here you have the graph. The computer's, this virtual machine is running. Okay? So you can see it running there. You can see the graph of stuff. But I can toggle between the hardware details of the system and the console itself. So just be aware of that. If you, uh, if you have something and you want to check, say this is running really slow, and you want to check the memory, well, maybe this is where you do it. Now, remember, you can't really change this stuff as it's running. You would have to shut it down. But it's nice to be able to come over here and look and uh, maybe take notes and see what you need to change. Okay? I'm going to go through with this, uh, just install it, and I'll come back when it's ready to go. And we're back. And you can see the uh, package installation has completed. Uh, it's got to do a couple more things. Take a look at the CPU graph and it's going to fall off pretty quick and just keep an eye on that as I uh, as I show you this other thing but uh, that you can see the packages are being installed and it's gonna be leveling off not leveling off but dropping off there you go right there one thing though is snapshots now this is one of the nice things about virtual machines is you can basically save your whole image configuration at any point with a snapshot so what you do is if you're working on a system and you say okay this is good I know this is good and it works but I need to make some other changes what you do is you go you take a snapshot of the good working configuration make your changes then if it works great if it doesn't go back to the snapshot it's uh, one of the real nice things about virtualization so here the installation is complete we're going to reboot and just take a minute to do that and after that I, uh, we will be done so let me just come over to here for a second. Let me just change this real quick. But you can see over here you have open. Uh, it's already open, so that's why. And that's why these are grayed out, because this is open here. You see how these, these buttons are, are working, and these buttons are grayed out? That's because you have it right here. okay so there you go you're in the system now what you can do is if you have if you're using just a graphical uh, command line interface here there's no there's no X server or anything like that then uh, you can just view and uh, just resize to VM because uh, you know you're not really going to be needing a full screen for just a uh, command line interface like this and that's it and like I said you can reboot shut down do these things force off this is like pulling your you know the power plug out of the wall so uh, advisable not to do that but uh, as you can see here it's uh, the computer started up right at that peak right there and then now it's running very low not much doing so that is it so I'm just gonna shut the machine off but uh, yeah that was your first install of a virtual machine with KVM and that's it it's gonna shut off there and as you see here it shut off right there and the CPU usage graph goes away and you're all done that's it and it's it's really easy and you can play around with the stuff you can break stuff and with snapshots you can save your good configurations and, and, and try to find workarounds in other ways 
and things like that. So a uh, couple of the reasons why virtualization is is pretty cool. And uh, that's all I have. And stay tuned for future videos.